I'll now describe the basic methodology of toe by toe, the way that the book operates. If we look at page 67, we'll see grids containing nonsense words. An essential part of toe by toe is the use of nonsense words. They discourage memorization and guessing and they force your student to decode. Do not be tempted to miss the nonsense words out. Why do we use nonsense words? We want your student to decode, to read accurately. Nonsense words prevent memorization and guessing. This skill here on page 67 is where we introduce the mute E rule. We use nonsense words to teach the rule, tick or dot as we would normally. The nonsense words are followed by real words which contain exactly the same skill, in this case of course the mute E rule. This is then followed by sentences with controlled vocabulary that just cover the skills that we have already taught in toe by toe. Your student will read the sentence, if they make a mistake the word is underlined for extra practice. The syllable division was created by Keda Cowling in the 1970s. The syllable division provides a way of segmenting words into syllables, into manageable chunks. This gives your students a strategy for tackling unfamiliar words. Here on page 63 we have examples of polynons. The polynons, the long nonsense words, are introduced gradually. At first, your student will divide the words up themselves with a pencil under your supervision. If as the coach you are unsure about the syllable division, please refer to the information on our website. Polynons basically means long nonsense words. If you look here in the shaded area, we have examples of the toe by toe syllable division. We find the vowel, we go to the consonant that follows it and we draw a line. We find the next vowel and the consonant that follows it and we draw a line. Cran, tip, at. These in the shaded area are examples. Opposite them we have more polynons for your student to divide with a pencil. If we look at the first one here, find the vowel, go to the consonant that follows it and draw a line. However, the instructions tell you not to divide double letters. We go the other side. Plet. Find the next vowel, go to the consonant that follows it and draw a line. On. Sig. Plet. On. Sig. These polynons appear at intervals throughout toe by toe and the syllable division is taught in a gradual manner with full instructions in the manual. There's another video on the website which explains it in detail. As your student progresses through the book, pages will begin to be signed off by the coach. It's a good idea for the coach to sign a completed page off with a flourish, showing that page will never have to be looked at again. Also, we recommend the use of an elastic band. Any, un any completed pages can be placed under the elastic band and secured. This is very good psychology. It's good for your students' self-esteem. Remember that many students will come to toe by toe with low self-esteem and lacking confidence. The elastic band shows what's been completed and what still needs to be done. As time goes on, perhaps in two or three months' time, you may well be two-thirds of the way through the book. Once again, use the elastic band to secure the completed pages so that both coach and student can see what's been done and what is left to do. Remember, words and skills in toe by toe need three consecutive ticks. On the example page on page nine, sh has only got two. 
put a ring round it and move it to the first multi-century page, page 28. The coach will write SH in the shaded area in the first column. We have an example page on page 27 which shows how the multi-century pages work. These pages have to give extra practice. Look at the example. The coach will write the word here. The student will write here in each of these boxes saying the word at the same time. Here. 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 It's very important that the student says the word and not just copies them. That way we have visual, audio and movement. The multi-sensory approach which helps them, helps them to remember the words. We do the same with real words and with nonsense words. Full instructions about the use of the multi-sensory pages which appear at intervals throughout toe by toe can be seen here on page 26 with the example page opposite. By the time your student has reached page 205 in toe by toe, the basic phonetic skills have been embedded and are in place. Remember that toe by toe is a decoding manual. It instructs your students to decode the English language, to read the words accurately. However, the next stage in the reading process is comprehension. We need students to understand and comprehend the text in front of them. After page 205 of Toe by Toe, we have a good opportunity to introduce another manual, Stride Ahead. Stride Ahead follows on from Toe by Toe and it makes the reading process automatic. There's a timing element to it and it allows your student to become so fluent in their reading that they can comprehend and understand the text in front of them. So remember, when you reach page 205, now's an opportunity to bring in Stride Ahead. We recommend that you alternate, one day toe by toe, the next day Stride Ahead, the next day toe by toe, etc. Further information on Stride Ahead can be found on the link on our website. Remember the basic principles. A little bit often. Ideally 20 minutes per day, five days per week. However, you can do a little bit less than that or a little bit more, depending on the circumstances. Crucial, a little bit often. Take the first answer. Take your student's first response. We want to encourage accurate decoding, not guessing. Follow the book's structure. Don't be tempted to miss exercises out. Start with the letter sounds, abacadur, follow the book's instructions and its structure and finish with words like psychologist, pneumonia. Use the elastic band. Cover the completed pages and secure them with the elastic band. It symbolises progress. Very good for your student self-esteem. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy teaching with toe by toe as much as I do.